that. We're not talking about those today, but they are similar in, the, in that they require the producer to take actions to mitigate the effects. So the two we're talking about today are waste, or the WE and the ROS. And then the Energy Using Products Directive, which came into force this year um, and uh, is being implemented now, in a product group by product group, is to do with the, the whole life cycle impacts of products. If you like, the WE and the ROS are subsets of, of the EUP Directive, but they are separate pieces of legislation. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, this is scrolling down automatically. Um, why did the EU decide to legislate for electronic waste? Well, obviously, waste, uh, waste itself is increasing at a dramatic uh, rate. Um, unfortunately, our Western way of life is waste producing. Um, much of what we buy and use is thrown away. And that's uh, not unique to electrical products, but they do they do make quite a large contribution to that. For example, back at the turn of the decade, we were throwing away in Europe 10 million tons of electrical equipment, most of it going into the ground. Um, this was estimated to be increasing by up to 5% per annum. Now, obviously, all that electrical stuff, 2 million microwave ovens per year going into holes in the ground in the UK, was obviously going to raise some eyebrows somewhere. Um, it's such a waste of valuable resources, uh, that, which is one of the main reasons why it was addressed. Um, I mean, all, not all we, under the legislation, will be collected and recycled. Some landfilling will continue which really leads to the other main issue, which is that if you put electronic equipment into the ground and leave it for a period of years, there are certain conditions within the landfill where heavy metals can be leached out. 